Hi, my name's Doug, and I'm going to show you how to put the share into SharePoint. Here's the true dramatization how I found out about SharePoint in my old job a few years back. I came into my manager's office. Hi, I'm done with that report. Great. Do you want me to put it on the uh, file share? Why don't you put it on our SharePoint site? Oh, we have SharePoint now. How do I do that? It's pretty intuitive. I'll just send you the link. So that's how I found out about SharePoint. Now, just take a step back if you don't know about SharePoint. SharePoint's a server product that allows your company to make a whole bunch of different types of websites, uh, document libraries, my sites. But, but like me, a lot of times you get SharePoint and you're like, what are some of the key things I need to do here? So we're going to show you a few of those things, like uh, how to change the color. Okay, maybe that's not that important, but it's important to me. But, but here's a scenario that probably happened to you just yesterday. This is you. You're on the blue team, and you have a one megabyte report that you send to your teammates. And they take a look at it, and this person sends it off to a couple people here, and this person puts it on a mail list, and they all get to read it. And, and also, he just mailed a copy of it back to himself. Uh, this person here mailed it to this person, and, uh, and she looked at it and said, mm, my team should take a look at it, so they all look at it. And you know what this guy did? This guy finds a typo and makes a new version of it and sends it to everybody else in the mail list. So there's multiple versions and, and megabytes of files being stored and backed up everywhere. Now, now here's the same scenario on SharePoint. There you are. And you send your report to a SharePoint site, and then you just send a link, not the report, a link to your teammates, and they can take a look at it. Now, you can set your permission so the whole company can take a look at it, or just the blue team, doesn't matter. And, um, but there's just one version of it on your SharePoint site. Now, if you want mail, we got mail. You can get a uh, uh, rule set up, so you can get an RSS feed or an email feed. Every time someone monkeys with your SharePoint site, you can get mail all day if you want. Now, there's a couple other key scenarios why uh, SharePoint's so much better than a file server. We're going to go over those. Uh, and we'll put some links on the blog, you know, training and, yeah, if you want to change the theme or color of your SharePoint site, we'll, we'll put that down too. I, I kind of I like verdant myself. So here we are in my SharePoint site. We'll just use this as a sample. We've customized a bit. Yes, that's the Verdant theme. <laughs> now, if we drill down a level, this is a document library. A lot of times you see SharePoint like this. Now, if you click on this document, it will open up in Word, and I can work with it. But other people could check it out, too, just like a file share. So what you want to do is check it out. And you can do that a couple different ways. Here, in, here on this screen, you just go to the arrow and go down and check out. And now no one else can touch it except me until I check it back in. If someone comes to the site, they can see the green arrow and they can see who has the document. Now, here's another time saver that I just love to do. If you have a document, you know, minutes, meeting, meeting minutes or a non-important document, instead of saving it as a Word file, save it as a web page like this. And then when someone comes to the SharePoint site, they can open it up, and it just opens in the browser. They don't have to open up Word or Excel or PowerPoint each time, which can save several seconds of the day that really add up at the end of the day.